Yeah, I'm I'm a fiend, dude. I'm devious. I'm devious as fuck. Last week, housewife Ellen Valinati had an emotional meltdown after revealing things her family never knew. Do you think you're a better mother to your children than your mother was to you? I do. I do. Have you ever fantasized about having sex with one of your coworkers? <laughs> that was funny chatter. Mock, do you have a job? Or no, it would be it would be more like Mock. Do you enjoy hosting the uh, the show, The Moment of Truth? Gong! Do you think you have a job after this, Mock? No. Yes. Do you have any secrets that you believe that okay, okay, come on, we just watched it. No need for the recap. To your wife. Did you <laughs> has to say, tonight, it's family man Michael Greenland's turn in the chair. And what he has to say. Finally, a dude on the fucking chair, dude. I'm sick and tired. You know what I'm saying? Like, finally, dude. I bet there's no questions asked about him cheating because that'd be easy. No, dude. Men don't cheat. Everybody knows this. Am I right, fellas? That's right. Let's keep going. Dudes rock 2021, baby. Say, will shock his wife and his family. Oh Since my God, they're crying. Okay, dude. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Of your wife's. Father, spoilers spoilers why are they spoiling in america the time has come to face i saved you guys so hard from the spoilers it's not even funny they literally spoil half the episode in the beginning i don't know why it's so fucking the stupid. moment of truth to tonight's show all of our participants have undergone a rigorous polygraph exam they don't know the results of that test but if they tell the truth they can win up to a half a million dollars and if they feel they may not have been truthful during the polygraph test they can change this show should be called tell the truth and we will pay for your divorce attorney that's true i mean at least it's honest because it's like a 50 50 split down the line you know what i mean whoever fucking wins their answers tonight so let's meet our first participant michael greenland is a 32 year old carpenter from st louis missouri he is the youngest of seven children he has been married for five years and has two children he was asked over 50 questions by a polygraph examiner 21 have been chosen for tonight michael greenland this is your moment Chad, stop saying what is chandler doing there okay this is the early 2000s every white dude looked like chandler Every white dude either was a cop or they look like Chandler, okay? Stop. Oh, you're being anti-white. You're doing anti-white racism. <laughs> Michael Lover, let's go. Sexy strut. Is that your sexy strut? Yes. Does that mean you're relaxed and ready to go? No, I'm nervous as can be. <laughs> Is that right? Shaking inside. Dying. Well, you, you fooled me. You think you're going to be able to tell the truth in front of America tonight? I, I have no choice. So, yeah, I'm going to do it. good. <laughs> there are six levels of questioning. The further you go, the harder the questions get, and the more money you can win. You can quit at any time and take the money. Once you hear a question, Michael, you have to answer the question. And remember, if you're caught lying, you lose everything and the game is over. OK? Yes. You're not only here telling your truth in front of all of America, family and friends have joined us as well, and let's meet them. Hi, I'm Hazel, his mom. I'm Amy, his wife. I'm Rachel, Mike's sister-in-law. I'm Ryan, Mike's brother-in-law. Welcome to all four of you, glad to have you here. You have an idea of what you've gotten into here, right? Not at all, Hazel? <laughs> then you might want to take a nap and we'll wake you later. Okay, thanks. Are you ready for this? Yes. <laughs> okay. Michael, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's begin. <laughs> Level one has six questions. All you have to do is answer each of those questions truthfully. I will give you $10,000, I promise. All right. <laughs> Keep in mind that if you're ever concerned about the answers you gave on your polygraph exam, feel free to change them tonight, but be careful, okay? So do you enjoy your job? 
Yeah, that's all right. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, what do you do? I'm a carpenter. You're a carpenter? Yeah. I've always wanted to be a carpenter. Uh-oh. Why well, weren't you? I Lettuce suck at building the three oh. of the subs. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Question one. As a hand- You know the show is pretty staged by CIA to ensure more people believe polys are accurate science and not some capitalist bullshit? Dude, leftists. Leftists have fun challenge, okay? Impossible difficulty. I know. Jesus Christ, dude. It's literally a reality TV show. If you're this fucking triggered by it, I don't know what to tell you. Dead naming is now required by explanation by California Labor Board as a part of an anti-sexual anti harassment training. Have people refused to vaccinate or concerns about myocardial... Oh, God, this is a British leftist, dude. That's why... It's like even less fun. You know what I mean? He wrote Lebur. It's over. I, I, well, once someone writes Lebur, it's like, it's Labour, bruv. It's fucking British Labour. That's right. You fucking what, bruv? Don't you need to have organized Labour call a global strike? The Instagram is very weird. So Mozart invented step cousin fetish. You want racist? Look at the HB Lovecraft. Why are you watching this? People say you had dreams of being like her in Los Angeles, celeb rotating in all those celeb circles. Isn't it boring? I wonder who this was about. CAS is a communal property state, so all earned in marriage is split 50 50. What are you doff is not the same question. Oh, is it about Kylie? Oh my god. Go and show your fucking jellied eels, bruv. Zeno. Maybe he's Canadian. Do Canadians actually fucking uh, do that, though? Three-head voice win argument? Yes. But also, it literally is true, though. Like, when I do the three-head voice, I do win the argument. And when I do the three-head voice... I you know, it's, it's, I win the argument. That's what, actually, I, there's nothing else I can say. Andy, man, have you ever deliberately prolonged a job just so that you could bill a client for more hours? Yep. That answer is true. <laughs> Boy, bro, he's a, con a contractor. One truthful answer. I can explain. What there. explanation could there be? Well, this guy was kind of a, uh, can I say I don't know. Uh, apparently, you're able to say that very okay. easily. He was kind of one of those and uh, decided to write me a bad check or two, so I made up for it. So and what you're saying is... Wait, what did he say, you think? Do you think, we, do you think he said the F word? Like, fuck, or the other F word? Or do you think he said dick, prick, douche? No, nah, he said bitch. <laughs> Drop the at. Let's make him lose his job. <laughs> I At first I thought this was a joke, but I kind of don't know if this person's being serious or not. Are you lost, chatter? <laughs> it's an isolated incident that you would do. Yes, it was. Only okay. one person, so any clients watching... It... <laughs> <laughs> you can still trust me. Hazel, are you surprised by that answer? That's your little boy there. Can I take the fifth? <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even notice what was going on with the mom, dude. This is like... Holy fuck. Apparently you already have. <laughs> we know what you do for a living. What do you like to do as a hobby? Not really a hobby. I'm going to school right now. I don't have time for... No time for hobbies. hobbies really. Yeah. Question two. Have you ever made a wax replica of your private parts? <laughs> what? <laughs> Can you even do that? 
<laughs> bro, that's an oddly specific question. So obviously, yes, right? Like, it's just like they're. These are the easy ones, by the way. What the fuck? Where is this going to go if this is an easy one, dude? Yeah, you can do that. Can you? Um, so I've heard. I've heard you can do that. So you've read. My friends tell me. Um, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have. A black replica? My wife was going to bring it with her, but it wouldn't fit in her purse. So I... <laughs> That answer is true. What I lie about that? Come on. Yeah, that's two truthful answers. I'm just picturing a wax replica. Did you put a wick in it and make a candle out of it? Yeah. yeah. That's got to look pretty as a centerpiece. <laughs> Maybe I should ask uh, Amy, your wife, what would one use that replica for? Oh my God. Okay, Mark, you're disrespectful, Mark. Mark, you are literally disrespectful. He's like, oh, this guy doesn't care. He's got a fat cock. So now he's like turning around and he's just like, what's up? You put it in your pussy? Okay, Mark, like fucking chill out, dude. We don't need to. No, just go on. Hazel, did you have any idea that this was one of your son's hobbies? I don't know him. Well, Hazel, if you don't know him, you're going to get to know him if you hang out. <laughs> two truthful answers, and I can't wait for the next one. This is a little bit different. How long have you two been married? A little over five years. Got a good relationship, you think, Amy? I think so. You trust him? Yeah. You trust her? Yeah. Boom. Question three. Have you ever felt that your wife is excessively jealous of other women? <laughs> that I can answer pretty quick, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That answer is... Oh. True. I already, I already know where this is going. Oh, this is so bad. Oh my god. Oh, I... If you were wondering, why is the sister-in-law there? This is so fucked. This is so fucked, dude. Oh, no, no, no. And the sister-in-law is like dating a dude who's not very good looking. Like the brother, his brother-in-law? Or is that his brother? It might be his brother. I mean, it is his brother. What the fuck am I Three truthful answers. Does she have reason to be? Um, no, I've tried to. You've tried to what? Tried to show her that, you know, no reason to be. Did you know that he thinks that you're sometimes excessively jealous? Yeah. Is that, <laughs> is that a reasonable thing to have said? Yeah. Yes? Yes. So you're, you're jealous? I used to be. Family and friends, he's answered three questions truthfully. They will get more personal. And we've just started. So I want to let you know that button is there for you. You understand what it's for. I hit that button. We throw away the question I've just asked. Replace it with a new one. You can only use it once, cute though, too. Okay? The in-laws the in-laws kind of cute. It's over. It's a wrap. Five years, a trusting marriage. Is your wife your best friend? Um, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> question four. Has your wife, Amy, ever said anything that hurt you enough to make you cry? What the fuck? Uh, Amy, do you know the answer to this? Yeah. Yeah, she did. Oh my God. That answer is true. Stop That's clapping. Land. Stop clapping. Dude, this is like... Can you tell us what she said? No. Not so into no. going there again, huh? There's other questions I, I'll go into detail with, maybe. But... So it may come up. Maybe. Did it make you feel um, any different about your husband to see a big man like that cry? Oh my God, Mark! Oh my God, Mark! Mark, you are a 
fucking asshole, dude. Oh my god, he is so out of pocket. Okay, he's literally like, he, he fucked up on the $100,000 question. So the producers were like, Mark, you gotta be extra devious on this one. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. You gotta go in hard, dude. If they fucking keep winning, you just have to antagonize. You have to fucking agitate. Jesus Christ, he's a demon. He literally demon shit. A little bit, yeah. It's Fell so more in love with him. Oh, that was good. That was a good answer. Good job. Okay, marriage safe. <laughs> Did your wife spend a lot of time getting ready to go out when you guys are going out somewhere? I think so. <laughs> Question five. <laughs> Would you say the gong came so quick? That your wife is the most attractive woman you ever dated. No, that's not good. Oh God, that's not good. Amy, any idea what he'll answer on this one? I'm not sure. You're not sure. <laughs> you are excessively jealous from time to time. <laughs> oh my God. So what's your answer? Would you say your wife- Yo, this show is so bad, dude. I can't get enough of it. How many, how many seasons? I want to watch every single episode. I'm, I am the monster, okay? This show is so fucked up. One season? Why? Life is the most attractive woman you ever dated. She's attractive and beautiful and I love her. <laughs> but, no. That can't feel good. That answer is true. That's five, one more $10,000. That's not the answer you particularly wanted to hear, huh, Amy? No, maybe you'll get a chance to see him cry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anything you'd like to say about that answer? No. No? No. I can think of about a million things you could say to make things a little bit better <laughs> okay well then say it mark you piece of shit you garbage motherfucker be be nice for once no mark is not nice demon uh. second season went unaired so they shot a bunch of the second season episodes and they went unaired Oh my god. There are 38 episodes total and 15 of them are unaired. We need to uncover the fucking old relics, dude. What? We must find these. Why were they unaired? Regarding a Regarding goddamn an unreleased episode for $500,000, Williams' final question was whether she believed her father had sexual relations as an adult with a minor. She said she felt he did, and the lie detector determined her truthful for the grand prize? Oh! What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, why'd you spoil that, though? I mean, I bet that we couldn't find that episode anyway. That's crazy. Okay, that. Wait, the Peru version got a woman killed? Woman, in, woman killed in Peru after reality TV show confession? Are you fucking kidding me? Peruvian police said Ruth Dalia Saya Sanchez was poisoned and strangled to death after appearing on the reality show The Value of Truth. Okay, that's. Okay, uh, let's not think about all this. Okay, that's a little two squid games for me. Think about it. If that was in Turkey, though, yeah, no, there would be fucking murders after every episode. You know how we talk about like there are divorces after every episode and we joke about it? There would be murder after every episode in Turkey. No. no. All right. No. Just trying to help you out. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Five truthful answers, one more $10,000. This next question is pretty personal. 
Yeah. You have to answer it truthfully if you want the money. Right. What? Intel, if you're joking here, take, for instance, the U.S., which is a nice example of a working capitalist country. It has some of the best living conditions in the world, and there's no work exploitation there. <laughs> China has always exploited workers, and they did so way more with Mao. Extreme communism. Capitalism doesn't rely on exploitation. In fact, technological advances made possible by capitalism advance towards more and more automized workplaces, which reduces actual human work. That's hilarious. Right. My man said Mao extreme communism. I love that. Mao had too much communism. That's why I had to lower it back. The Colombian version was canceled in October 2007 after a female contestant named Rosa Maria Solano was asked, Usted le pago un sicario para mandar matar a su... Marido, meaning, did you pay a hitman to have your husband killed? And she answered, si, meaning, yes, to the question. What is happening on this show? That is fucking insane. Wait, they have how it. This works. Oh my God, they have, they have the fucking, oh Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck me. Oh my God. Oh Jesus fucking Lord mercy. All right, let's just keep going. You can hit the button if you don't want to hear the answer. For $10,000, question six. Since you have had children, have you lost any of your sexual attraction to your wife, Amy? Oh, dude. Hey, he, Mark is hammering in. Dude, Mark is literally hammering in earlier. Like, this is... He's, he's coming in hot. Five truthful answers, one more, $10,000. This next question is pretty personal. Yeah. You have to answer it truthfully if you want the money. Right. You can hit the button if you don't want to hear the answer. For $10,000, question six. This question is so much harder than the last episode. What the fuck? First of all, no, it's not. These questions are literally nearly identical to the previous episode. So if you unironically think that this is worse, you literally think that it's worse because it's a dude answering. Because like in the previous one, she was like, have you fantasized about a fucking New York Yankee while fucking your husband was like lower on the question side? So no, these questions are fucking. Since you have had children, have you lost any of your sexual attraction to your wife, Amy? No. Lost. Let's find out if that's true. These questions are shaming the wife? What do you mean? The other questions were shaming the husband. They were literally shaming the husband too. They're personal. That answer is... True. That's $10,000. Oh, God. That's got to feel good, Amy. Yes, it does. And $10,000 has got to feel pretty good, too. Yes, it does. <laughs> Five more truthful answers, Michael, and you will turn $10,000 into $25,000. What do you want to do? Go for it. Want to go for it? Go for On it. the level two. I wish you the best of luck. You can change your mind after every question if you want. Okay. Just catch me before I read the question. Okay. Been married to your wife for over five years. Yeah. Did you date a lot before you met her? Um, not a lot, but yeah. Question seven. Are you sexually attracted to any of your wife's sisters? 
one of which is sitting right here in front of us. Ruthless! Yes. Dude, that was... Okay, you gotta wait a little bit longer, brother. What the fuck? He just dropped it. Yes. That answer is... True. Called it. That's seven truthful answers. Fucking called it, dude. Also, the husband... The husband immediately put her hand around her what? Look, 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 look at this. That answer is- Look at this. That answer Wait, why didn't it show? Is... Oh yeah, here. Look at that. Bro. That answer is- True. That's seven truthful answers. Not me. There's five girls in our family, so it could it be. So was you? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was. Yes, we dated. Yes. They dated. You guys dated? Uh, yeah. But he also dated one of my other sisters as well. You... <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? What the fuck? I can't, I can't say that I called it because that's insane. Oh, uh, why would he go on the show? Why did he date the whole family, bro? Are there not, are there not other women around the planet? Like you had to, you had to fuck the whole family, dude. What, what kind of Mormon shit is this, dude? Also, the first one and the second one, let's say that's like wild, okay? You're like, oh, you fucked my sister. Now you're fucking me. That's kind of weird, right? Why did the third one say, yeah, I'm down. Like, let's do it. After the other two sisters got fucked and she was like, yeah, I'm going to marry this one. This is the one. My man literally was like trying to fucking unlock a gaming achievement in the whole family. Family tree unlocked. Be giving away stuff. Let me see if I can get this right. You have four sisters. Of the four sisters, total of five women, you married one and dated two others. <laughs> yep. Okay. Mark's get, Mark is about to be ruthless. He's about to be like, so what's up? Is the fourth one too ugly or something? Like, so much to talk about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to change gears a little bit here. <laughs> that's literally a triple kill. Like, that's a. He, he was a he was a fucking one dick sling away from a squad wipe, dude. That's insane. <laughs> what kind of relationship did you have with your parents growing up? Uh, pretty good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Hazel, you okay? It wasn't horrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can hit the button if you don't want to hear yeah. the answer. I forgot. You gotta about wait till I ask the question, though. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> question eight. Have you ever lied to your parents about your religious beliefs? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Dude, this is so dumb. What faith? Dude, this is so fucking dumb. It's like, uh, who cares? Did you grow up as Mormon? Okay. And your parents? I pre-watched. I pre-watched. I pre-watched all the videos. I, I, even when they come out. Even when they come out as soon as I'm live. Oh my fucking God. There's no explanation for this. There is no other explanation for this. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Wow. When your memes become dreams. Are practicing Mormons. Yes. Okay. 
Let's find out if your answer, yes, you have lied. The your sisters dev help with the soaking? Oh, no. He was soaking. Bro, he was the super soaker, dude. He super soaked the family, dude. I swear to God, dude. Joseph Smith is with this one, okay? Your parents about your religious beliefs is true. That answer is true. <laughs> Well, that's eight truthful answers. And that's, you know, when you talk about religion, it gets to be a, a very touchy sure. subject. So you want to elaborate on this? Tell us what was going on there? Um, I think we just did a period where I was kind of questioning things and didn't want to upset them, so. In what way did you lie? Told them that I was, I don't know, I guess believed it. <laughs> This is a big surprise to you, Hazel, or? I think I'm aware of more things than he thinks I'm aware of. <laughs> You've answered eight questions truthfully. We are getting closer to $25,000. As I look ahead, we're gonna get to some very personal questions about your family. Okay. You okay with that? Sure. Is it nice having your mom here to support you? It is. Even when you're talking about things that are sensitive? Yeah, the wax replica thing wasn't too, uh... Not so fun, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mom's here. Where's dad right now? At home. Mom and dad still together? No? No. Question nine. Do you think your father worked hard enough to provide for your family? Um, no. That answer is... True. It's nine truthful answers and a very sensitive subject. Sucks so that she's going to be on the same planet as him no matter what. You know, mommy and daddy going to be on the same planet. That's Mormonism, baby. Yep. Doesn't matter if you didn't work hard. Did you, Hazel, realize that your son felt that his father didn't work hard enough to provide? Not really. I thought I was keeping it. <laughs> keeping it from everybody. You do your best as a mom to protect yourself. Like, it's out now. It's on national TV, mom. That's why she got that haircut. They're fucking Mormon. That makes sense. This is a lot of this is like falling into place now. You know what I mean? From the drama in the house. Uh, yeah. I guess what we're learning is, as you know things about him that he didn't think you knew, <laughs> kids know stuff about their parents you don't think you know as well. Yeah. I hope it's not very much. <laughs> you love your mom a lot, though, don't you? Oh, yeah. Hassan, why are you like this? Uh, I don't know. I just, like, I cover fucking horrible news every single day for a living. It's just, like, at a certain point, I've just been become desensitized entirely to human plight and suffering, I think, especially when it comes to stuff like this. You know what I mean? This is great. So you remarried. Yes. And your father is also uh, remarried, yeah. or is he single? Remarried. How often do you see your dad? Um, not too often. Question 10. When visiting your father, do you think your stepmother intentionally does things to make you feel unwelcome? She's enjoying it. Look at her face. Yo, come on, Karen. You like that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That answer is... Oh my God. She's trying to hide her smile. That's fucked up. That's devious too. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. That answer is. True. That's her, that's her biological mother. And the question was about the stepmom, but she's fucking smiling. She's like, yeah, that's right. That bitch. <laughs> That's 10 truthful answers, one more $25,000. Do you really feel that way, that your stepmother would intentionally do things to make you feel unwelcome? Unfortunately, yeah. 
Amy, are you aware of this? Yes. It's hard to talk about? Yes. Have you guys discussed this at all? A little bit. Have you discussed it with your father at all? Um, no, not really. No. Then for $25,000, your question 11 is going to be asked by your father, Chuck, is here. Let's welcome Chuck to the show. Yep. Did you call Moan as you've gone emotional? Now we're at a very serious situation as it comes to... This is the worst show of all time, which makes it the greatest show of all time. I mean, this is so sad. I just, like, this is insane. Your relationship with your son and, and a lot of things that have been discussed. But right now, our only concern is question 11. If you can be brave and... Bro, this... He literally looks like the most Mormon man in America, by the way. I just want to point and, out... And a lot of things that have been discussed, but right now... Like, I feel like I've seen a documentary about having, like, multiple sister wives, and this guy's in the middle of it, okay? This Utah family avoids the authorities every step of the way. We go into their compound to see how. And it's like, he's got, like, seven sister wives and shit. That's what the dude looks like. Straight up, dude. This is... Oh my God, dude. Now, our only concern is question 11. If you can be brave enough and honest enough and answer it truthfully, it'll be worth $25,000. The question comes from your father, so whenever you're ready, Chuck, question 11. Mike, despite the life you've led, do you think that I still love you? Oh my God. Stop. Stop. Oh my God. Dude, this is a demon. Demon time! Moment of truth continues. You have 10 truthful answers, one more, $25,000, but there is no shame in stopping. A chatter said he sounds like fucking Dennis Prager. He's right. You're right. He does. Sounds like he's about to tell me like communism has never worked and never will. Capitalism is the greatest system of all time. Homosexuals are ruining Western civilization. Like that's what he does. He does sound like that. Even at this point, if these questions have hit closer to home than you had anticipated. So if you want to stop, I would be. I'm Dennis Prager. And this is why can't I say it? Happy to stop at this point. If not, I'll honor whatever you want. We'll continue. Let's go. Okay. This is your $25,000 moment of truth. And this next question is not going to be asked by me. You still have time to stop it if you okay. want. Okay, I didn't rewind it. They always do a recap after the ad break. Now we're at a very serious situation as it comes to your relationship with your son and, and a lot of things that have been discussed. But right now, our only concern is question 11. If you can be brave enough and honest enough and answer it truthfully, it'll be worth $25,000. The question comes from your father. So whenever you're ready, Chuck, question 11. Mike, despite the life you've led, do you think that I still love you? Bro, the question there is like, despite the life you had, if you're fucking, if you're pre-qualifying your question with something like that, it's over. Like there is no good that will ever, no good will come out of that question. You know what I mean? Like that's a no. Despite the life you've had, like I fucked you up. This was not a question that our producers came up with. This came from Chuck. Wait, dad asked the question? Yo, he's a real fucking demon, dude. Why would you ask that question, dude? That was dad's own question. That's crazy. I do. Yes.
That answer is true. Chuck, you just helped your son win $25,000. Congratulations. Good job, man. Love you so much. So proud of you. Chuck, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, How about that? Thanks. Yeah. You okay? I'm great, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I Aww. obviously there's a lot of pain in your family, but I don't think that's any different than most of the families watching the show, that if we look- No, no, I think that's different, dude. Uh, that seems like, no, yeah, many of us, Mark, have fucked our wives, uh, two other sisters before we married our wife. Who, who amongst us hasn't done that? I mean, that's so normal, dude, uh, you know? The fuck, Mark? Hard enough, there's pain for all of us. And that was uncomfortable, I'm sure, for you. Very, very. <laughs> but could you see how emotional it was for your father? Yeah, and that's why it was emotional for me. Yeah. I don't see him like that very often. So through all of this, two grown men letting each other know that they love one another is not such a bad thing. No, it's not. I want to know what secret Mark is hiding. Yeah, for real. Wow. But my question is, while this is a game and at times it's fun, you yeah. now see how serious it really is. Yeah. Because it's the game of your life. Your Yo, he went to my high school. He's the only famous person to come from my town. This is Captain Kami. Wait, what? Bro. <laughs> I don't know if he's famous, dude. He just did the show. I don't. <laughs> your moments. You've got $25,000 right now. A lot has been stirred up. A lot more will come down the line on your way to half a million dollars. So I want you to consider it and make a wise decision. Oh, Mark we'll L. Lol. Oh, Mark Wahlberg? The second most famous Mark Wahlberg in America? That's got to be sad when you're like... The most famous guy in your town is literally named after a much more famous guy, dude. That is an L. Not just in his middle name. Quick break and we'll be back with Michael Green. Right after Truth. I'm here with Michael Greenland, a man who has answered every question we have asked him uh, truthfully. I say we because I've asked 10 of them, and your father just asked. Still arguably better than Mark Wahlberg? Well, I mean, we don't know how many hate crimes he's done, so. So technically, yes, most likely. If he, if he has zero, if this Mark Wahlberg has zero hate crimes under his name, then most likely he's the better one. He's just the less famous one. To the 11th question and there were tears all around how are you feeling right now michael i'm good yeah i'm, I'm glad he was here you have twenty-five thousand dollars. all i really want is for you to have the experience you'd hope for and leave here with as much money as possible the only way to have that twenty-five thousand dollars would be to leave okay. okay if you risk it you only have to answer four more questions to reach the top of the next level which is a hundred thousand dollars Look, none of us who are watching this program or involved right now know your past or your life, and you know what you've had to reveal to get to this point, so you can only imagine what will be revealed to get to the next point. So, what are we gonna do? There's a lot of embarrassing stuff that's already come out, and so a lot of the questions I was kinda Fearing have already gone past, so... Mark L. Wahlberg contributed to the Rwandan genocide. I can provide links if you want. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up, dude. That's not... There's no shot. <laughs> what the fuck? I can provide links. If you want. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's go for it. Okay. Michael, I'm going to give you the chance to revisit this decision after every question that you answer truthfully. Okay. I got to okay? pee. I'll be back. So, would people ever describe you as the life of the party? Probably. Question 12. Have you ever thought that your past drug use may have caused permanent damage to your body? <laughs> Mom, did you know about this? Okay. So, have you ever thought that your past drug use may have caused permanent damage to your body? Yes. Yes. That answer is true. Three more, $100,000. Now, it, the question asks you about your past drug use. Is your drug use in the past? Yes, definitely. Okay. Great. Was it pretty serious? It was um, probably for about a year to two years. Pretty, uh, pretty intense daily stuff. So that may be some of what your father alluded to when he talked about your behavior like, in the past? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Before we go to the next question, remember, every question I asked you puts that $25,000 at risk. And yeah. while $100,000 is alluring, and certainly we all want that, $25,000 is a lot of money. So just keep that in mind. Do you think your friends can count on you? Yeah. Yeah? Definitely. You think so? I mean, a brother-in-law, does that count as a friend? Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Would you count on him? Definitely. Yeah? <laughs> no. Oh, that's not a good face. <laughs> the button's still in play. Oh, yeah. Question 13. Have you ever had a sexual fantasy about a friend's wife? I mean, he, he, what worse could he be? Like, I mean, he already fucked the whole family. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, yeah, yeah. That answer is true. Thirteen truthful. Getting close to hundred thousand dollars, but again, don't let it fool you. Every question you risk your twenty-five. Anything you want to say about that? Amy, any idea who's a friend's wife who might have he might have had a fantasy about? A couple. Yeah. A couple. Thirteen truthful answers. If you continue to go on two more, you get to hundred thousand dollars. This next question's a doozy. You can stop now if you want. First, I'm going to ask you what first attracted you to your beautiful wife. Um, I don't know if there was one thing that I can point out. I mean. Probably thinking, obviously, I dated two of her sisters, so... I, yeah, um, that has crossed my mind. Yeah. Um, I, I really can't pinpoint it. It's just, she's, she's great. She's great. Well, your wife has a question that she wanted to know the answer to. Ooh. You kind of hinted around what the subject matter is. Okay. Question 14. Have you ever had sexual relations with any of your wife's sisters? Wait, they already date? Oh, they're Mormons, so the assumption wasn't that they fucked? He dated them. That's a freebie, isn't it? Soaking doesn't count? I mean, it absolutely does, boys. Let's be fucking real. I'm pretty sure Mormons know, too. Like, they gotta fucking know. They think they're cheating God? Like, you think God doesn't know, dude? You fucking kidding me? God knows. It's already been an emotional night for Michael Greenland. Would you say your wife is the most attractive woman you ever dated? No. Do you think that I still love you? 
I don't care about the recap, bro. The moment of truth continues. Oh, blast his tweet. Yeah, dude, I, I'm a, I'm I'm devious, dude. I fucking. I just dropped this while this was going on. You know, you guys think I'm just fucking. You guys think I'm not working. Well, I'm always working. Okay. You thought Mark, you thought Mark was doing devious licks. I'm the one who's doing devious licks. That's not a cash app, bro. Shut up, bitch. I'm on my Sigma grind set, dude. Here you go. Yeah, but this is the funniest screenshot I've ever seen. Why? Thirteen truthful answers. If you continue to go on two more, you get to a hundred thousand dollars. This next question's a doozy. You can stop now if you want. First, I'm going to ask you, what first attracted you to your beautiful wife? Um, I don't know if there was one thing that I can point out. I mean, you're probably thinking, obviously, I dated two of her sisters, so... I, yeah, I, that has crossed my mind. But, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I really can't pinpoint it. It's just, she's, she's great. She's great. Oh, we're still on the recap. Sexual relations with any of your wife's sisters. You did date two of them. Yeah, yeah, but one of them's here. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. You see that lip bite? It's a wrap. It's a GG's, dude. You guys think that sisters never told her? Divorce court two for the price of one special. So what is the truth? Have you ever had sexual relations with any of your wife's sisters? No. Let's find out. Damn, dude. That answer is. Correct. It's got to be correct. True. Oh my God. She thought it. She's like, love you. Thank God. Thank God he didn't fuck my sisters. I, I assume that, you know, they just think soaking doesn't count, right? That's why it doesn't show up on the lie detector. Uh, this, this question more was like, do you consider, next question, next up is going to be like, do you consider soaking to be sexual relations? Question after that. Have you ever soaked with your sister in laws? <laughs> I told you. I just told you. Ah. Thank you for asking that question. That thank is... you. Thank you for asking that question. She doesn't believe us. Well, Okay, there is a lot going on in this family. Amy wanted to know the answer. Uh -huh. That's right. So has that been a question that's bothered you for some time? I would imagine having dated a couple sisters, that could be a little sticky. <laughs> yes. 
Thank you. Now it's done. Answer the chatters. What is soaking? Oh, man. Oh, you sweet, beautiful children. You don't know what soaking is? Soaking is a cheat code for Mormons. A religion that has more patch notes than a fucking World of Warcraft 15-year uh, runway. Okay? Soaking is the glitch hacking that Mormons engage in where they put the penis inside of their significant other, okay? And they don't do anything. They don't move so that, like, you know, the movement is actually the fucking, but the soaking itself is the P and the VG. That itself is not inherently sex, sex, and it's not inherently sinful. Now, there's a level on top of that where it's called jump humping, where you ask for a third to come in and jump next to you on the bed so that it's not you moving the P in the VG, but it's actually the, the momentum itself. Which is significantly freakier than just fucking, to be honest. Like, that's like a threesome. You're halfway to a threesome. It's like a... It's like a two and a half-some. You know what I mean? You're trolling? No way. Nope, both of those things are true. I love when people are like, wow, that's so shocking. Like, d dude, why is that shocking? Why is that shocking? Mormons literally left the United States of America so they could still do polygamy. It, the entire religion revolves around fucking multiple wives and shit. Why would that be shocking to you? They're Mormon. Why do you know this? Because I'm a freak. Over. And now her husband will leave her alone about the same question. <laughs> why, why, Rachel, when we found out this answer, did you immediately start to beat Amy? <laughs> because we have both told her since they started dating, nothing ever happened. We, yeah. Well, now we like, know. In fact, when he said he was coming Gone. on the show, I said, Would you want something to happen? Next question. Oh, God, it's coming. Said, please, I hope they ask this question. <laughs> Good. So she'll leave us alone. For all the possible damage they can come on this show, I'm glad a little bit of good might have come out of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't let that pyramid fool you. It sure looks like you've done all the hard work, doesn't it? Yeah. It only takes one question to, to lose all your money. So you can stop now if you want. If not, we're going to go for your $100,000 moment of truth. Okay. You want it? Yeah. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Question 15. Have you ever had sex with any of your friends' wives? That's fucked up. That is fucked up. Not as fucked up as this ad break that I'm about to run right now. Right alongside the TV ad break because, you know, devious. It's top of the fucking hour. You know what I'm saying? That's right. If you want to fucking ad free broadcasting experience, if you want to know what the moment of truth is, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do that for $5 or you can do that for free with a Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime, of course, you can get by uh, stealing your sister wives uh, Amazon Prime account and connecting it to your Twitch account if you haven't done so. You get one free Prime subscription a month. There's also other methods, but you know, I can't tell you what they are, but you can probably figure it out. Here's the one minute ad break coming up right now, dude. Oh, there it is. The ad break is over. Don't let that pyramid fool you. It sure looks like you've done all the hard work, doesn't it? Yeah. It only takes one question to, to lose all your money. So um, you can stop now if you want. If not, we're gonna go for your $100,000 moment of truth. Okay. You want it? Yeah. I okay, come on, come on. Sex with any of your friends' wives. Oh. 
Amy, do you have any idea what oh the answer gosh, is? Oh my gosh, she's pre crying. It's a wrap. It's GG's, dude. You know, if you don't want to hear the answer, the button's still in play. Can you hit it? So, have you ever had sex with any of your friends' wives? Yes. That answer is. You can pull this. <laughs> That's so <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> True. Clap, motherfucker, clap! It's a lot of money, my friend, and yet that question brought your wife to tears, so I have to question if it's worth $100,000. Amy, you want to talk about this? Not really, no. Not really. <laughs> Bro, he's literally twisting the knife, dude. He's like, come on. I see you crying over there. You want to talk about it? You want to talk about how your unfaithful husband fucked a friend's wife, dude? Come on! <laughs> Mark is a fucking savage, awful person. You felt like you knew the answer to this question when I asked it. Yes. And I'm, she's like a sister to me and I haven't known for nine years. <laughs> you guys gonna be okay? Well, you've got $100,000, but now you're faced with another decision. <laughs> You got a hundred thousand dollars. Fuck it. <laughs> hey, you got a hundred thousand dollars, you know? Yeah, it's all good. And Michael, it's a bigger decision than whether or not you think you can be honest. Yeah. Because you have to ask yourself, more tears, more money? Is that a balance of something right. you want? Amy, what do you want to do? Go for it. I don't know what's coming. I don't know. Outside of this world, how long would it take you to earn a hundred thousand dollars? Too long. Too long. <laughs> Too long. Looking at your mother consoling your wife, looking at your sister-in-law who's choked up, you've shed some tears, and it is a dangerous path. Do you want to walk out of here with a hundred thousand dollars, or do you think you can beat it and go for two hundred thousand dollars? Michael, what do you want to do? Keep going, keep going, keep going. It can't be worse than this. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, please keep going. Um, I've come this far, and I think I'm gonna go home with the money I have. Boo! Boo! You're a bitch, dude. You're literally a bitch. You could have fucking... Oh, this sucks. This sucks, dude. Nash on national television, you just ruined two, two marriages, but... Dude, I always want to know, what are the questions after this? You know what I mean? It just keeps me so... Like, I need to know. Like, that's the question that he's, like, ending on. Because he knows what the other questions could be, potentially. And it's like, how much fucking worse could it have gotten? Fuck.